A warm welcome back to Korea's Biz Show. My name is Monique Adams and today we take a look at the people we profiled and featured in today's Korea's publication and you can get it in the Sun, the Alga Minor Saitu as well as the Republic Kane newspaper. So let's take a look. On our front page, we featured um, Dr. Errol Nuamap, who is the new Vice Chancellor of Namibia um, Science and Technology University. And he was born, in, born and raised in Omaruru, and at the age of nine, he was orphaned. Ever, in every higher institution, as well as high school, he was the top performer um, student. And actually, he wanted to become a lawyer, but he opted, he found a passion in the science field. Um, the advice that he gives to young aspiring people is to remember that it is not simple, it is not simply about excelling as a person in all levels, but also about uplifting others in whichever way possible. In conclusion, strive towards being a good citizen, he says. Next up, on our page two, we featured the CEO of Bistro Cafe, and her name is Irina Georgina Ngandu. Gando, sorry. And here she says that her biggest accomplishment to date is the mindset that she needs to get things done has always been a driving force for her. Other accomplishments include opening her own cafe and the fact that she's a mother. She is, she loves, she's a family woman and she's someone that really strives to do good and to see her, her, her business blossom. And I really need to make a turn at Barry Lish's um, Bistro Cafe because their Instagram page, the pictures of their meals look so yummy. Um, so I'll definitely make a turn there. And on our page three, we featured Marcel Theron, who was a radio representative at the Cosmos um, 94.1 radio station. And she recalls times when the words she said came out completely wrong or she got the hiccups just as the news was about to start. And quote, so many bloopers and thousands of ears that can hear them. I will take all these fond moments with me as I continue on my journey to the east of Namibia. Um, we would just like to say, Marcel, good luck with your new journey. And we really loved you at Cosmos, all the best. And that's it we have today in our careers publication. Make sure to grab yourself a copy and to read all the amazing stories that we featured and profiled and news. Uh, my name is Monique Adams and this is Curious Buster. Welcome, welcome viewers. This is the segment where we interview the people we feature in our careers publication. And today we're joined here all the way from Oshakati. It's Nelao, <laughs> sorry, that's her second name. It's Rebecca Nelao Philippus. Mm -hmm. She is a service client consultant at GIPF um, Oshakati. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Monique? I'm good, good. How are you feeling? Um, I feel <laughs> overwhelmed to be here, actually. Okay, great. So can you just tell us, careers, um, about like your background history, a little bit about your education, where you were raised, where you were born? Um, okay, uh, as Monique said, my name is Rebecca Nilao. Um, I was raised in Bentuk. I grew up in Bentuk. I was born in um, Ong Shakati. Um, I, my entire life I schooled in Bentuk. I uh, attended my primary school at Olive Palm Primary School. High school I was at Concordia. Um, varsity, I did my bachelor's degree in marketing at then the Polytechnic of Namibia, which is NAST now. Um, and I later on um, did my postgraduate honors degree in business management at the same institution. Um, um, I was employed at Alexander Forbes since then my um, varsity and whereby I was now, um, I, I, I changed to GIPF where I, I currently am at the Shakati Regional Office. Great. So how has been your journey at GIPF so far? Okay. Um, it's quite um, educating actually. Mm -hmm. I've gotten to be exposed to a lot of um, different clients with di different backgrounds. Um, I've gotten exposed to a lot of um, challenges 
Mm-hmm. Not, not bad ones. Well, educating challenges, I've gotten to learn a lot more than um, what I've actually picked up in, in my journey in this job before. Great. So you're a client service consultant. So you work with different people every day. Yeah. How has that been? You know, you get to meet different people that have different personalities. Some people are difficult. Some people are easy. So how did you, you know, navigate that challenge, overcome that challenge? Um, you know, um, every day when you walk into the office, the one thing you have is meeting the client's expectations. Mm-hmm. Every one of them working with their different kind of expectations as to what they want to get from the office or from the institution. So you try by all means to always put yourself in the client's shoes. You don't deal with them as the consultant, you deal with them as you being the client. If it was you walking into this office, how would you want it to be dealt with? And you know, so that makes it easier for me. Um, Especially, we, we, we mostly deal with elder people this side. Yeah. So it's, it's quite of a challenge. They are not as exposed to awareness, and, um, to information, as to what their benefits are, as to what they are entitled to. They, they, they are not that aware. So it's, yes. it's quite of a challenge. Um, but we, we navigate through that. It's, we, we try and, yeah. and make it easy <laughs> for them. Yeah, so it's... <laughs> It's, it's, it's really nice when a client walks in and they walk away with a smile. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it also makes your day. It, it, yeah, it, makes it your makes job you worthwhile. Yeah. So y- writing your article, I picked up that you're a people's person. So ever since you were young, you know, young Rebecca, you've always wanted to work with people. You've always wanted to be in this industry. Um, <laughs> not so to say. Um, I've, I've always been a people's person. I either wanted to take after my mother, who's a teacher, I wanted to work mm-hmm. with children. Um, um, because, well, I think I'm patient. I'm, I'm really, really patient. Mm-hmm. Because having to deal with different kind of personalities every day also tests your patience and, and also how, how you take on different people. Yeah. So growing up, I actually wanted to be a teacher or something in media. <laughs> well, yes, well, I ended up here. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it after all. It's not it's not that bad. I still like it. I'm still working with people. Okay, so where do you hope to see yourself after five years? Um, after five years, I I want to see myself better than I currently am. Mm-hmm. obviously but i i set my goals based on the pace i currently am if i set a goal for myself where i currently am i need to accomplish that goal first yes. and then i can set another one i i i don't ambush myself with yeah you um, take it step by pressure. step yes i take it step by step interesting so after five years it will be determined <laughs> by how far i've gone with the set, the goals i've set for myself great so any highlights in your career journey that sticks out for you that were like oh my goodness that was like it's memorable you can never forget that <laughs> um i get those almost every day okay but i i got i got a client i got i once got a client um well she's a pensioner she called in and um she was, i think she she recently just got into the suspension thing mm-hmm. so she was not aware of anything she was just confused she didn't know where to go where to start so i explained to her from a to z as to what needs to be done as to what her benefits are as to what she's entitled to as to what is the way forward from there yeah. so um she was so excited she asked for my name uh, which office i'm working at and she was really, really happy and she kept blessing me and she said, God bless you. Not every young person does this for the elders. Mm-hmm. They are not as patient with us, you know. So yeah. I was like, okay, thank you so much. And, you know, so it ended there. Meanwhile, she actually, 
I, I, I felt like she didn't um, thank me enough. So she came to thank me personally the same day at the office. Really? And imagine she queued up. We have so many queues and she queued up and she was just in the queue. And when she came, she asked, no, I just want to speak to Rebecca. So she came and she's like, well, I'm the client you spoke to on the phone. Um, I just want to thank you personally. You are so kind. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've, I've never gotten this. It, it was so so overwhelming yes. so yes yes so it was really really nice i mean if you have Those moments that, like that in your job that just makes you want to go to work every day and deliver yes. a good service to the customers yes, definitely so, any advice you would give to you know a young aspiring um individual that's watching this interview you know that's recently graduated or finished high school what advice would you give them um the advice i would give my peers or so to say my younger peers that i still to take after me um is that be patient with yourself um you are your own competition comparison is the thief of all joy don't be oh i saw rebecca here so i want to be here no I swear, if, if I have to tell you where I started, I started as, I just started as a receptionist right after school. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it takes a lot of patience. Um, it takes a lot of introspection as to what you actually need to, to, to mix in. Like I had to mix in another different degree for me to, to just merge into the industry because I feel like we are, we are a lot now. Yes. And and yeah and unemployment rate is so high we are so many a lot of us have degrees and we all have the same thing so try and and mix it up a little bit and mm -hmm. um don't be limited at all do not be limited go out there be your own competition be your own cheerleader just do you and trust me you will conquer your world <laughs> wise wise <laughs> words from the young Rebecca well Rebecca sadly this has come to the end of our interview um, I really enjoyed writing about you you seem like a really pure kind person and I hope to meet you in person like you just have this thank energy you. that you know grabs my attention <laughs> <laughs> thank you Monique we will uh, definitely meet one day yes <laughs> Yes, that's a date. Well, guys, that was Rebecca all the way from the Oshakati branch of GIPF. If you want to read more about her journey and more about her, make sure to grab the careers publication today that's in our Sun, Robert Blikane, as well as the Alga Minor Saitung newspaper. So once again, Rebecca, I wish you nothing but the best with your journey and self-growth. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, Monique. And... That's it, guys. I need to love and leave you. My name is Monique Adams. That's the lovely Rebecca. <laughs> and from us, it's a goodbye. Enjoy the weekend and stay safe.